Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagley with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagley, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Newgrounds. This is a game called Toss the Turtle that I used to play quite a bit back in the day. This game's like, I don't know, seven or eight years old or something like that, but I used to play this right after college, anytime I wanted to waste a couple hours, and it's one of those games that just sucks you in. It's one that's very simple, but at the same time, it has the mechanics that make you want to retry over and over again, and for those of you guys who have not played Toss the Turtle, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what it's about. So you have this turtle that you shove into a cannon, and you shoot the cannon at whatever angle you want to, and you hold down the mouse button to shoot him, and then when he's in the air, you can control him with WASD. Now, it's very slight controls. It's not like anything that affects him greatly if you press those buttons, but it does alter his course of direction a little bit. So you have to keep your eye out for things that you can hit and things that you need to avoid that will not kill you. And uh, you have to shoot the turtle in the air as well. You're given like a slingshot in the beginning. And then over time, you actually get guns that you can shoot him in the air to make him go farther. It sounds very cruel and awful. And it kind of is when you watch it. But it's a lot of fun. It's really, really awesome to uh, see this type of game in action. I'll show you guys right now what I mean. Like, you start off with the very basic cannon, you blast this guy, and this poor little dude, he's shooting blood every time, every time he hits the ground, he splatters blood everywhere, and he looks like he's in pure agony, and you just kind of, kind of go through the motions here, you're, you're not doing too much in the beginning, I just got shot by a machine gun dog, not sure why that exists, but there's these sacks of money, and you collect the money as you go along, and you also got hit by a flying bomb, um, but... As you get more money, you can buy more and more power-ups, which is the, you know, the addictive side of this game. This is the part that makes you want to go, oh my god, I got hit by a chainsaw guy as well. Holy crap, we're really getting some distance. So we already got the novice achievement. I think we got hit by another chainsaw guy and we hit a Goomba. So, <laughs> we're getting some pretty good distance on our first run. But besides the money sacks, the more distance you get in the game, the more money you get to buy more power-ups. And over time, you just keep getting more and more and more. Now, there are traps in the air as well as on the ground, so uh, I do have to be careful. I mean, it's not like I can really control anything, like I said. I'm sort of just holding W and uh, D. Yeah, I'm holding W and D to sort of like move in an upward forward direction as much as possible, because I just want maximum distance, because if I get hurt on this first run, it doesn't really matter that much to me. I'm just trying to, like I said, store up enough money to buy new upgrades. Now, as I'm losing momentum, what I can do is I can shoot him with a slingshot, and you'll see the little blood splatter. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I'm like killing this dude. I just killed the stork as well. I don't know if those slow you down or they speed you up. I can't remember. Like like I said, it's been a while since I played this game, but I used to play it all the time. And it is very, very fun. Newgrounds was just one of those places that had a lot of creative people coming together to make just silly little games like this that were meant to just be purely fun. They were little time wasters, sure, but it was mainly focused on fun with the animations, with the games, with all that stuff. It was really, really cool. Um, but, oh man, we hit another bomb. We are still going. I can't believe we're still going. We might actually hit like 20,000 feet if we keep going. I'm going to go ahead and shoot him with the, uh, the slingshot. Bam. Keep him up in the air for a little bit longer. And now we're out of slingshot bullets, and we sort of just have to go by chance at this point. I am completely out of control. Out of control. I just sort of have to uh, let him bounce and splatter and hit more traps. The fact that this guy is not dead is just outrageous to me. He's a very resilient turtle. Peta's going to be coming after me for this one, though. I mean, like, look at this. This is horrible. Oh, we almost got more bullets or more ammo so that we could keep shooting him with rocks like a cruel, horrible person that we are. We did also get hit by more sh machine gun dog. I don't know. Once again, like, I don't know if that guy actually slows us down or if he speeds us up. Oh, God. Um, all right. So we landed on a spike pit. Uh, <laughs> We got 4,000 bucks, though. Holy crap, that's a decent amount for a first run. But he's just twitching there in the blood. Oh, God, I feel horrible. Let's click away from that. Let's go to the shop. And this is where you can actually buy new cannon types. You can buy uh, jet packs, which help out a lot. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy a jet pack so that we can get flying. And you only have to buy one of each jet pack, which is nice. You don't have to like keep buying new ones every round. So it's a very good, worthwhile purchase to buy a jet pack. You can also buy new guns. So like the guns will allow you to shoot him farther when you shoot him. I can uh, get a revolver next, the Desert Eagle, an Uzi, an AK-47, a pump shotgun, an automatic shotgun, a sniper rifle, 
a bazooka, and then the golden gun, the legendary golden gun from 007, which apparently shoots him the farthest. I've never actually stored up enough money to buy that, but maybe we will during this video. Let's see here. All right, round two. Let's see what we can do. Bam! Not too bad of a shot. Hopefully we can go a little bit farther. Now there is a marker on the ground where I landed before, uh, where my run stopped, where it will say like best distance or something like that. And obviously our goal is to get beyond that. Now there are a ton of games like this out there. Like uh, I think I played Burrito Bi I played Burrito Bison and I think I played the second one on the channel as well a while back. And those are also the same vein of game where it's just like you sort of launch someone as far as they can go. And uh, unlike Burrito Bison, though, this one, I just really love, like, I mean, I do like the art style in Burrito Bison, but the art style in this game is, like, I don't know, there's something about the, like, really thick lines of, of the art on, like, the turtle, and just, it, it fits into the Newgrounds aesthetic, I guess. It's maybe me just being very nostalgic, but um, I do like this game a lot. It looks really cool, and it plays so well. Like, it's a very smooth running game, and it just, it holds up, honestly. Like I said, it's not a lot to look at. It's not very advanced. It's incredibly simplistic, but it's one of those games that reels you in and you keep going back to play more and more because you're just like, I got to save up for that next cannon. And then once you have the next cannon, you're, what the hell is that? Is that a, oh man, that was like a Jeep, a drunk driver. <laughs> We blew up his Jeep, and now we're going, like, even farther. Holy crap, thanks, dude, for being a terrible person. <laughs> but, yeah, it's one of those games, like, you get the new cannon, and then you shoot him even farther, and you're like, I gotta go farther and farther because I'm getting more money now, and it just builds on itself. It's a vicious cycle, and then the next thing that happens is you look at the clock, and you're like, holy crap, like, three hours just went by where I played this stupid Flash game. But that was Newgrounds back in the day, and I've said that in my other videos with Newgrounds games, where... It was just the place to be. It was a creative hub where you could go and you could watch free movies and because they were all flash based. So your creators made them free online and you can play free games and things like that. And that was really awesome back in the day, especially for, like I said, someone who didn't have a lot of money back in the day. I still don't have a lot of money, so I still revisit Newgrounds now and then to play games like this. This is a really fun game. And speaking of the art, the art is done by someone named Gonzo. The game is Forever Cool. I think that's the name of the creator. The game creator is Forever Cool. So, uh, those were two very great creators on Newgrounds, and I'm not sure what they're up to, but I should probably check at some point. But let's go to the shop and buy some more shit. So I totally forgot to use my jetpack, partially because I wasn't, like, expecting to hit a load of spikes or anything, but I should have when we started slowing down, and I'm going to do it this time. But we didn't get enough money to buy anything that I wanted to, so let's go ahead and just launch again. And there we go. The look of dismay on his face, it just makes me feel so bad. Every time he bounces, he has a different face when he's up in the air, like complete and utter pain poor guy poor little turtle i'm sorry buddy i have to do this i have to do it for the money <laughs> and the thing is is he's the guy at the shop he's the one buying the power up so obviously he's okay getting launched over and over again and coming to a terrible bloody death on spike traps good lord <laughs> and getting like hit by bombs and chainsaws and holy god knows what <laughs> are we are we actually gonna hit anything here we're missing everything maybe i shouldn't hold wasd and see what happens oh Okay, we got hit by the Shoryuken banana, though. Okay, so there's that banana that yells Shoryu Shoryuken from uh, Street Fighter. And, uh, yeah, he uppercuts you into the air, which is actually really helpful. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh, nice, hit a bomb. We're way up there in the sky. Holy crap, got a lot of altitude. We're still going. I don't know, I can't remember what our best record was, but hopefully we can beat it. And bouncing this high, it's going to be hard to see the sign that says what our record was. But... We're going to go. We're going to go the distance. We're going to get the high score. That's all I'm like uh, looking forward to, just beating my high score every time if I can. Obviously, we didn't do that with the second run, but this one, I have a good feeling about this. We're bouncing pretty high. There's a lot of stuff in the air, getting lots of money bags. So I think by the end of this run, we should be able to at least buy a new gun, which will launch him even farther because uh, the slingshot does diddly dick. Oh, man, we could have gotten. Oh, nice. We did get the money, though. All right, I was going to say we could get more and more ammo. Just keep them up there. That was close. Holy shit, we almost hit that spike trap. That was insanely close. We're getting a ton of money bags, though. This is great. Holy crap again. Good lord. <laughs> there are these moments where you, like, come back down from the sky and suddenly there's just shit there. And you're like, oh god, I'm going to die. <laughs> 
Poor turtle. I want to keep you alive, man. I want to get to a end of a run where you don't actually hit a spike trap and you just stop on your own. This might be it. This could be it. Hit that. Yeah, get that money. I was going to say, get that money at the very least. And we're coming to a stop. Come to a grinding stop. Oh, chainsaw guy. And huge baby bomb. Nice. The big baby bomb. It's got like the one tooth grown in and it looks very... Very babyish, <laughs> despite the fact that it's huge. Those things kept us alive. We are still going. We definitely got the high score at this point. Holy crap, flame guy as well. We are on fire. And those actually, despite the fact that you like are completely engulfed in flame, those actually help you. Getting hit by bombs in the air? Come on, this is crazy. This is nuts. This is like just really good luck on our side. And that's the whole thing about this game, is there's not a lot of skill to it which is another thing that will probably turn some people off. Oh, that's the high score. We just passed the high score marker. Sweet. But it is a lot of, like, randomly generated scenarios where you're just like, God damn it, like, if that one thing hadn't been there, we would have kept going forever. It just randomly generates, and it's totally luck of the draw. So some people will probably not like that. And other people, like I said, this is, like, a great way to just waste a few hours. <laughs> that would have been cool if that actually set the bird on fire when I hit it, when I was on fire. Okay, here we go. This is where we're probably going to come to an end. Oh, machine gun dog keeping us alive. Ooh, getting some fire guy. And ooh, that was so close. That was ridiculously close. And oh, are we going to hit this Goomba? Hit Goomba? What the hell is that? That was like a big mole. That was a giant, disgusting diglet. <laughs> it looked really gross. That actually helped us. I don't think I've ever seen that guy before. I don't remember seeing that guy before. I know that there's probably some additions after I stopped playing this way back in the day. There's uh, new, I guess, patches or versions of it. We're getting so much money. Nice, the game is really helping us. That got us way over that spike trap. That was good. Another disgusting Diglett guy. Oh my god, chainsaw guy and a Diglett guy. This one, we are going forever. This is nuts. I can't believe this. And we got five miles. We've gone five miles. We are an amateur, apparently. Pretty good. Uh, honestly, I don't know how far we're going to go here. Chainsaw, oh my god. Oh. That was horrible. <laughs> High speed brutality death, like right into the spikes. Thanks, Chainsaw Guy. All right, so now we have enough money to actually buy more stuff, so let's go back to the shop to do so. Awesome, guys. We actually have enough money to buy the big cannon, so that is a big upgrade. Let's go ahead and try it out now. Holy crap. Way bigger. Way bigger shot from the uh, the initial get-go. That's awesome. So we're going to definitely have a good time using this cannon. And... There's, as you guys saw, there's so many different cannons. You can eventually get a tank, like the Newgrounds tank, and blast the turtle out of that. And I don't think I've ever had the patience to get to that as well. But this is just one of those games that you want to get to that. And the game does autosave, so that's another nice feature of it. It said right there in the beginning, you know, take some breaks. And I just realized we got to use that jetpack, keep ourselves going. Yeah, get going, man. Awesome. So we got a little bit more momentum behind us. Maybe we'll beat our next uh, or our last record as well. But uh, yeah, it auto saves, so you can take some breaks. And if you come back to it, you know, a day later or just even a couple hours later, and want to keep grinding it out, you can eventually get that tank. That was very close again on that spike trap. Holy crap, that was close. Um, and yeah. Earn everything in the entire game if you want. Jump man. It's funny that... Oh, oh my god. That's a completely different type of death. That is brutal. Poor turtle. I feel horrible for the dude. All right, guys. I'm feeling like maybe one more attempt, and then we're going to call it quits for this. But this game is so fun. It's a blast from the past. Very literally, it's a blast from the past. And I've been having a, a lot of fun playing it again. I like to try to keep just like a quick tip as well. I don't know if this is actually something everyone does, but keep the shot, um, that first shot, launch shot, uh, at like a 45 degree angle because it's like sort of like the optimum amount of distance and height that you can get by launching this turtle. But let's go ahead and use our jetpack, get moving, cruising into the air a little bit more. Wow, we are flying forward too. We got a lot of momentum. There's some money bags, good stuff. Hopefully we hit some good things this time instead of the spike trap because that was a brutal death. I feel awful for the turtle. I really do. Like, I feel bad for this little cartoon turtle bouncing around shedding his blood everywhere like, poor little guy. <laughs> but, 
I mean, it is for <laughs> it is a cartoon and it is completely for our amusement. But that was a, another thing about Newgrounds is it did not hold back on a lot of things. There was some really questionable material on Newgrounds. This is very tame compared to a lot of the stuff on the site. There was uh you know, very gory animations, really gory games. There was uh for a while they had like hentai on the site. I don't remember if they still have it, but they could. I <laughs> I don't. I only check back on Newgrounds now and then when I'm I'm hurting for cash and want to play a game that I haven't played in a while. So, I don't know if you guys want to check yourselves. Let me know if they still got that hentai there. That's you up your alley. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna judge you. Oh man, we missed the sure you can banana. I need you. Sure you can banana. You're like the most useful thing. And I feel like those birds actually do slow us down a little bit. Oh wow. Just threading the needle there. Oh crap. Why did I use the slingshot? We would have gotten the chainsaw guy. Shit. Oh, man, that was me being dopey and stupid. Oh, baby bomb. Yeah, help me out, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> God, we we seriously dodged a gauntlet of traps back there, though. Like, we dodged the chainsaw guy, which wasn't good, but we, we also dodged a lot of spikes, which is awesome. So, hopefully we can at least make it to 20,000 this time. I don't know if we can. We seriously are... Uh, are not doing so hot. Now, the, the later in the game it gets, the longer these runs become, obviously. You have better power-ups and upgrades and jetpacks and things like that. I keep seeing these shuriken bananas. I need more of them. Help me out, guys. Come on. Oh, god damn it. We come to another bloody, terrible fate. And we'll have enough money to buy some more stuff. But like I said, guys, I think that was probably going to be my last run. Uh, the top run I had was somewhere around the realm of 20,000 feet. So if you guys can beat that, let me know down in the comments below what your highest score was. I hope that you guys had as much fun watching this as I had playing it again. Because like I said, Newgrounds was just one of those sites that sucked up so much of my free time back in the day. It was so fun. It was such a cool place and such a cool era to be a part of. But, uh, yeah, give it a try yourselves, guys. I'll put the link down in the description below so that you can give it a shot. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.